I lived in Braddock my whole life. But saying this then and seeing it now is giving me an extension to stay in Braddock. I think it's happening slowly but surely. A lot of these places no one really uses, so you can just go there and have fun. Who knows what's going to happen next? When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a soldier. No, no matter what, I always had my goals set on to be a soldier. And uh, I didn't want to pack parachutes, and I didn't want to drive the trucks. I always wanted to do the fighting, so eventually that came in my future. I ended up involved with these streets and selling drugs and things like that. Is when we moved from California, my parents did meth and everything was good. The rent was paid and things like that. We just, me and my, my brother and sisters got in a lot of trouble, so we ended up getting evicted. And then we came out here and they started smoking crack and everything fell apart. This here. This is the 1300 block of KP, which is Kirkpatrick. And then here, this is where I did a lot of my hanging out, and there was a lot of drug selling, a lot of shootings, things that, that we had to do to survive and stuff like that. At the same time, my parents were running around doing the same stuff that I was selling, so it was kind of kind of bad. And I knew I had to do something. If I stayed around these streets, I was going to end up dead or I was going to end up in jail. So I had to be a man and, and take responsibility for my child. So I ended up going to the uh, United States military on behalf and with help of John, the mayor of Braddock. Like I said, John's willing to help anybody that's willing to help themselves. So, I mean, it's not like the help ain't here. People just don't want to, you know, I guess, swallow their pride, I should say, to ask for help. August 15th of 2006, we deployed to Kuwait. And then two weeks later, we were in the Triangle of Death in Iraq. And uh, it was actually a blessing when I got out. It just kind of helped me change my mind. It helped me get on that right path again. I mean, hey, I'm not living a good life, eating shrimp and going out all the time and doing this stuff. But I still have fun. I mean, I still get to, I get to enjoy my child's life. And I miss that with my daughter being in Iraq. But now that I'm a lot more older, I went through the things that I went through in the military and stuff like that. It's just, it's not worth it. where everybody wants to be a hustler, everybody wants to be a drug dealer, when everybody should think about, maybe I want to be a lawyer, or maybe I want to be this, or maybe I want to be that. But if I only make $12,000 a year, I'm still happier with that than making $200,000 a year selling drugs because it could take my life away, I'll never see my kids again. And people don't think about that type of stuff when they're doing it, and I didn't think about it either. Uh, my biggest dream for the future is just to see my kids grow up, both of them just grow up and be healthy and graduate high school because Nobody in my family, still to this day, has, that I know of, has ever graduated high school. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully carry on there and go from there and go to college and just, you know, have good jobs and be able to maintain their lives. So all I, I, I could dream for it or I can go and get it. So, I mean, basically, I'm going to go and get it.